If you are now, or have ever been, a parent to a 15-year-old, you know just how impressionable and fickle they can be. Keep that in mind as we tell you about a shocking new policy in one western state that would allow 15 year olds to have sex change procedures done without parents even knowing about it. Here's correspondent Dan Springer in Oregon. 15 year olds in Oregon can't smoke, give blood or get a tattoo, but now they can get drugs to suppress puberty and even a sex change operation without their parents consent and the government will pay for it. It is trespassing on the hearts, the minds and the bodies of our children. They're our children and for a decision, a life altering decision like that to be done uh, unbeknownst to a parent or a guardian is it's mind-boggling. The decision was made by Oregon's Health Evidence Review Commission, or HERC. With no public debate, it began covering cross-sex hormones, puberty-suppressing drugs, and sex reassignment surgeries for Medicaid enrollees in January. We have uh, uh, a very radical and even mutilating treatment being offered to children without any evidence, any evidence that the long-term outcome of this side is be, would be good. We tried repeatedly to get an Oregon Health Authority official on camera to explain and defend the sex change policy, but they kept putting up roadblocks. In fact, one spokeswoman even lied to us about the medical director's work schedule. From the moment we're born, our gender identity is no secret. We're either a boy or a girl. Gender organizes our world into pink or blue. As we grow up, most of us naturally fit into our gender roles. Girls wear dresses and play with dolls. For boys, it's pants and trucks. But for some children, what's between their legs doesn't match what's between their ears. They insist they were born into the wrong body. This 17-year-old boy is biologically a girl. It seemed nature had played a cruel joke on me of all the horrible things that could have happened to me. Why this one? This 10-year-old boy lives as a girl. You know the word transgender. What does it mean? Um, a gender that wants to be the other one. Is that you? Yes. And yes, this six-year-old girl was born a boy. We'll say things like, God made you special, because there aren't very many little girls out there that have a penis. She could be any 12-year-old girl, so the movie. hanging out with her mom and sister. But Zoe was biologically born a boy. <laughs> How did you handle it when people related to you as a boy? Yeah, um, I always got upset. I'd be like, no, I'm not a boy. I'm a girl, you know. Like, I like the color pink. I scream like a girl. I act like a girl. I breathe like a girl. Um, I'm not a boy. The political and social struggle over bathrooms and gender blew up today. The spark came from a letter sent to school districts across the nation by the federal government, and it drew immediate condemnation from conservative states. For the nation's public schools, the issue was already simmering. After today's federal directive, it's on the front burner. That is, provide transgender students with access to suitable bathrooms and locker rooms that match their chosen gender identity. The challenge here is not to isolate anybody. It's not to discriminate against anybody. It's not to make anybody unsafe. It's actually to ensure that our schools are as inclusive and respectful and safe as they can possibly be. The U.S. Departments of Justice and Education issued the directive in a formal letter to school districts. It does not impose new legal requirements. Instead, it cites Title IX's existing protections against sex discrimination that are tied to federal funding. According to the directive, when a student or parent notifies the school administration that the student will assert a gender identity that differs from previous records, the school will begin treating the student consistent with that gender identity. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch said the goal is to protect against harassment well, and address Ladies unjust and policies in local schools. Here. The transgender community welcomed the news. We have someone who's very powerful, able to help us. 
Chicago student Alex Singh transitioned from female to male two years ago. He appeared in a frontline documentary, Growing Up Trans, on PBS last year. When I first came out, I was in seventh grade. And before then, going to the bathroom was kind of uncomfortable for me, as it would be for any guy going into the um, female restroom. Uh, it was very uncomfortable, very nerve-wracking. Uh, I just felt out of place and like I did not belong. And high schoolers in Arlington, Virginia, offered their own reactions today. Equal rights is just, it's a part of our government, our amendments. Like, if, I don't think it should be like, based on gender. If you're a U.S. citizen, you should be treated like one. I would feel comfortable with them going into the bathroom because obviously they, they think that I, they're female and I'm female, so they wouldn't harm me. But the backlash began almost immediately. We will not be blackmailed by the president's 30 pieces of silver. We will not sell out our children to the federal government. In and Texas, Texas, Lieutenant Texas. Governor Dan the Patrick urged his state's school superintendents to defy the Obama administration, even if it means forfeiting billions in federal aid. He's either paying back the lesbian, gay, and transgender community that helped him defeat Hillary Clinton in 2008, or he believes in this policy. I don't know for what reason he's doing it, but it is the most damaging policy, domestic policy, and that's saying something for this president who gave us Obamacare. The most damaging public policy he has put forth. North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory takes a similar stance. His state and the Justice Department are already suing each other over a new state law restricting public bathroom use to a person's birth gender. This is an issue which is really about privacy versus equality and that balance. When you go to a restroom or to a locker room or to a shower facility, there's an expectation of privacy that the only other people in that room in, in a very private private moment, I might add, will be people of the same gender. She said, Mom, I think there's a boy changing in my locker room. Some parents are worried as well. This woman in Clovis, California, where schools already follow a state gender identity law, expressed her concern this week. I understand that times are changing and that, um, you know, there are issues that need to be addressed. I totally, completely understand that. Oh, girl. For a girl named Jazz, the word remarkable doesn't begin to cover it. At just 11 years old, she has taken what most children and their families would regard as a terrible secret and brought it smashing into the open. She is the brave and beautiful new face of a child born in the wrong body. She's got a little Describe Jazz to us. Vibrant, happy, full of life, self-confident, beautiful, glowing. Feminine? So feminine. She wears pink cleats on the soccer field. Do you like my new bra? And padded bras. She not only dreams of mermaids, she swims like one. If you didn't know it, would you believe this 11-year-old girl was biologically a boy? Let's get this straight, Jazz. Are you a boy? Or a girl? I am definitely a girl. Like, that's all I consider myself as. I'm sorry, I know I never do anything with my hair, but... Jazz is transgender, a boy living as a girl. So a preschooler whose parents felt it was pretty ridiculous that they were teaching same-sex education to a preschooler was expelled from the school because the parents had a problem with the doctrine that was being taught to the children. This is just more proof of this gay agenda that, that all the truthers have been talking about. This gay agenda, this agenda to defile God and God's word and the scriptures, which we know Satanists go out of their way to do. That's part of being baptized in Satanism. But the fact that if you think about it, a child in preschool is learning about gender equality and same-sex marriage and that it's okay to be involved in a relationship with the same sex when straight children aren't learning anything about even sex education in school until they're juniors in high school sophomores or juniors in high school we're talking about preschool we're not even talking about fourth grade we're not even talking about the puberty days and this is more proof that this is strictly done as a mechanism of mind control because if you study 
all of this stuff like I do, like a lot of the truthers do, and you've studied MK Ultra, and you've studied the Monarch Butterfly programming, you learn about the mind and how it works, and when it processes a lot of this information, and when these Satanists do all of this testing on these children, where they make them into MK Ultra slaves, where they do this to their own children, they do it at this age, when they are in preschool age, when they're young, while their brain is still developing. That's how they create these walls and these alter personalities in their mind because their brains are still developing. They're not matured yet. And this is just proof because at this age, while the brain is still processing things and it's learning so much information like a brand new computer, it's being programmed. They are getting this gay agenda in the mind of children, children who don't even know what sex is. Children at the age in preschool have no idea what's going on as far as sex and feelings like that towards another person so what they do is they teach these kids because boys are going to be hanging out with boys at that age and girls are going to be hanging out with girls at that age is they're telling them that while you want to play basketball while timmy wants to play basketball with johnny it's okay to have feelings towards him and to you know what i mean and they push that envelope where a child isn't even thinking about it but they're planting this seed in the mind of the child so that they feel drawn to people that are the same sex because they're hanging out with people who are of the same sex because boys and girls rarely would hang out in preschool. They you hang out with your own kind, right? A boy would hang out with a boy because they would like sports and the girl would hang out with the girl and they would do girl stuff. And as you grow older, then they cross over, right? Then boys and girls start hanging out. But they're breaking that barrier down because they know that the boys are hanging out with the boys and the girls are hanging out with the girls in preschool. So they're pushing the sex education then so that the boys become promiscuous with the other boys and the girls become promiscuous with the other girls. Because while they don't even know what sex is and they don't know what these things are, they have the school system feeding them this, telling them that this is good and this is okay. And then what do they do to the masses? They go, why is this a bad thing? We're teaching kids at a young age not to bully people of the op, you know, who are gay or bully people who are transgender. It is a brainwashing program. That's what this is. It has nothing to do with them caring about bullying. It has nothing to do with any of that stuff. You have children who don't know anything about sex. You're telling them about being open to these things while they're hanging around people of the same sex. And they're doing it in preschool. And like I said, you don't learn about sex until high school for anyone else out there. When you learn about sex education and you learn about the sexual organs and the reproductive system and all that stuff and about how sex works, even though people find out on their own before they get to high school through whatever various mediums. I mean, it's on television all day and night. All they do is promote sex and nudity. Rihanna's butt naked in her music videos. So they're promoting it nonstop. But to teach it in the school systems. And they teach it in preschool and then have the child expelled for that. The child's expelled. It shows you that if you don't go along with their programming, there's consequences to be handed out to people who don't go along with their agenda and what they say. And that's what this is. People going against this gay agenda, then they'll have people come out and say, what kind of parents are this? They don't want their kids to learn about equal sex rights. And you get the gays up against the Christians or against people who are against this. Everybody should be against it. Nobody should even be learning about this stuff in preschool preschool we're not even talking about second grade we're not even talking about sixth grade when does a kid even hit puberty sixth seventh eighth grade but they're learning about it in preschool and it's like i've said over and over this school system that they've created is to completely mislead the masses they learn in a fake pseudoscience that the world came through evolution they take god out of the equation and then they shove the man and the woman the parents to work not because, oh, because they have equal rights and, the, and they both want to work because they're so prideful. They trick and convince the parents that what life is all about work and your social status so that the child is raised by the school system. And now you have the school systems teaching same-sex education, gender equality, which is absolutely absurd, gender equality. So they're teaching people that it's okay to be mental and to say, even though I'm a boy, I'm now a girl. I'm going to go in the girls' room. They're teaching that stuff. Then you have the other schools in Colorado handing out satanic coloring books, pro-abortion books, anti-Bible books. That's why they're pushing in Satanism into schools. That's why God's removed from schools. And that's why they're pushing same-sex and gender equality into schools where it doesn't belong. They're getting these kids at four years old, five years old, to hear about how it's okay to be a guy and to like a guy. And the kids get confused because they don't even know what sex is. But they're thinking to themselves, I must be gay because I'm hanging out with a boy all day. I'm playing baseball.